so I just finished reading Carrier of the Mark. Really? Yes, but I am confused. Why am I not surprised? Can you explain to me again how the mark is passed down? I guess, but you probably will not understand. Try me. So you understand that the mark can only be passed down by females? Yes. Well, the mark is also recessive, which means this female must pair with a man who is neutral in order to produce a marked child. Okay, I think I understand it now. That is not all. An element must also be available in order to make a marked child. What does that mean? It means if there are four people in the world who each have one element, then no other child can be marked. Instead, they will be royal blood of direct descent. They will inherit a mark if one becomes available before the summer solstice in the year they turn 18. Why can't they just be marked? Because only four elements exist in the world, so only four marks can exist. Okay, I think I got it now. That is not all. If there is no royal blood of direct descent, the side selects the royal blood of indirect descent. What is a side? The spirit guide for the marked. Okay, I think I got it all. Well, not all. While men with the mark cannot produce marked children, they can produce royal blood of indirect descent. Oh boy. Royal blood of indirect descent will not inherit a mark. However, the side can choose from these bloodlines should he need to. If the side selects from the royal blood of indirect descent, the potential mark must evoke their element before the summer solstice the year they turn 18. If they do not, the mark skips them and passes to either the next royal blood of direct descent, or another selection by the side. I think I get it. Megan was chosen by the side, so she is a royal blood of indirect descent. Actually royal blood of indirect descent are usually always boys. So what is Megan? We don't know yet. This is confusing. Yes, but the descriptions of Ireland are really nice.